Hello all, I am the Holland Phantom, and I wanted to take this chance to say we made it to 200 subscribers on the channel! Thanks a lot to everybody who's been subscribing over the past year, and actually beyond that since this channel began. So I wanted to take this chance to kind of give you a tour of my Pokémon room. Alright, so to begin, I wanted to say that this is actually not my bedroom. My wife and I do not sleep in here, there's not enough room for us. Now this is just where uh, the Pokémon content happens, and it just where I keep my Pokémon collection overall. And also my Power Ranger collection, as you can see here. Got a collection of Mighty Morphin Power Ranger Megazords, because I'm totally a 90s kid. Okay, so onto the Pokémon stuff. I've got, let's see, the full set of all eight regions here, all the posters. Though, I think they're going to be out of date pretty soon with the release of the new Pokémon game coming out next month, Scarlet and Violet, so I'm going to be needing the ninth one for the Paldea region. Okay, next to that I've got the original three booster packs, all, um, all three artworks for each pack. They're all still sealed, never been opened. So base set, jungle, and fossil. And actually, the fossil booster packs are all in first edition, so that's pretty cool. Um, the base set and jungle ones are not, but still pretty, pretty good um, callback from the 90s. Okay, next to that I've got a poster. There's a canvas poster, my wife got it for me for one of our anniversaries a couple of years ago. It goes up to the fourth generation of Pokemon, so as you can see here in the center we've got uh, Dialga, Palkia, and Giratina uh, in the center, and then we've got Arceus way up top. So a really cool canvas poster, I love this thing. Okay, below that I've got a couple of my sealed Elite Trainer boxes, so here we have the 20 year anniversary one, never been opened. Hidden Fates, Shining Fates, and Champion's Path. And then below that, I've got the Reshiram and Charizard Premium Collection. I don't have the Pikachu and Zekrom one. Haven't been able to find it anywhere, but it's alright. Okay, next to that, I've got the League Battle deck for ADP and Zacian. And a couple more decks over here. I've got the Reshiram and Charizard one. And next to that, the Pikachu and Zekrom one. Also never been opened. Uh, some Japanese products down here. The the green, red, and blue ones at the front are what are they called? Postcards from Japan. I picked these up from a um, what's it called? A hobby shop a couple years ago, and it's, they're pretty cool. So I decided to pick them up. And that's kind of what they look like once you open them. So just um, artwork from the original anime plus a couple of original artworks for different holidays. Next to that, I've got a CD, um, also Japanese. This one I did open, actually, because I wanted the cards that were inside. It came with uh, Venusaur, Charizard, and Blastoise, Mewtwo, Mew... Wait, did it come with Mewtwo, Mew? I don't remember. And uh, <laughs> Porygon and Snorlax. And I think an Arcanine. Alright, next to that, I've got the original Pokedex toy. Also a gift from my wife. She gets me a bunch of Pokemon stuff. <laughs> it's awesome. Okay, below that, just bring up the screen a little bit. This is uh, the 10 year anniversary collection, the top 10 Pokemon. F um, up to Generation 3, so we've got um, Kyogre, Groudon, and Rayquaza there. Along with some other Pokemon, of course Charizard has to be there. They're all in silver though, which is, I don't know, I think it's kind of lame. I think they'd look better if they were in color, but I guess they're in silver as a special edition. Okay, below that I've got some more cool stuff. This is, uh, oops, from the 15 anniversary, 15 year anniversary. This is the divider from the deck box, which I have somewhere. I don't know where I left that at the moment. The sleeves. Pokemon Stadium 2 I got back when I was a kid. Another little postcard, this is from the Pokemon Special Manga. I just love that artwork, it has all the protagonists up to Generation 3 from the manga. Uh, here we go. One of my favorite things of all time. Pokemon Red version. This is the very first Pokemon video game that I ever played as a kid. I still have it all these years later. This is where it all began. Uh, what, okay, our little damage counter box, also from the 15 year anniversary, came with these Pikachu uh, sleeves. 
Okay, next to that I've got a sealed Charizard GX tin. Um, oh, just an old camera. Nothing Pokemon related. <laughs> okay, up here, this is pretty cool. This is from the... The Pokemon League, the, what's it called, the Trading Card Game League. I did get this autographed by two of the big shots from the Pokemon Company. Junichi Masuda, Takao Uno. And on the inside, I've got the fifth generation badges that I collected when I was uh, actually running the Pokemon League there. And then above that, I've got the fifth generation games, Black and White 2. Back you go. Okay. Now below that, I've got a couple of sealed deck boxes from the World Championships. I love collecting these things. Next to that, I've got a jigsaw puzzle that I actually did mean to open at some point, but then I got too lazy and it's still sitting on my shelf. Next to that, I've got a, just a blank sketchbook, but it's got some Pokemon on it, so I decided to keep it. Okay, and then below that, uh, I've got some, some folders, actually, is where I keep my my most valuable cards. So I'll just go through a quick little run through of what's in one of these folders. So first page here is my collection of the Champions Festival card. This is from 2013. Below that I've got 2014 one. This is uh, when I was staff there. Actually I got a staff one too from 2013. Next to that I got, well I had two tropical beaches uh, one from 2011, one from 2012, also staff ones. Um, the, the t uh, sorry, the one that was here has actually been used in a deck right now, which is why the spot is empty. Okay, now flipping the page. Oops, too bright, too bright. There we go. My legend Pokemon. I've got the full set here. I love these cards. They look awesome. Oh, here we have the, the Japanese Venusaur. Charizard and Blast toys that I mentioned earlier that came with that CD. And then I've got a full set of the Shining Latias, Latios, and Rayquaza. They're also in Japanese. But I also got the, the full set in English too. Okay, now flipping the page again. Just some older stuff. Uh, Shining Tyranitar here in the corner. It's actually the very first Shining Pokemon that I ever got as a kid. I pulled it from a Neo Destiny booster pack and I still have it all these years later. I picked up the Shining Magikarp and Gyarados uh, sometime after that. Got some of the Crystal-type Pokemon, Kingdra, Golem, Charizard. Uh, another Charizard, this is the Gold Star one. I was super lucky to pick this one up. And here's the Gold Star Latias. The Latios is being used in a deck right now, so that's why it's not in the folder. Gold Star Suicune, Jolteon, a really messed up uh, Gold Star Rayquaza. Uh, you can't even see the damage on the side of here anymore because it's so messed up. I picked this up fairly cheap because I wanted to use it in a deck, but since it's so beat up, I, I just didn't want to use it, so I ended up getting another Rayquaza. So I have three Gold Star Rayquazas. This one, the, the Japanese one, and a third one that I'm actually using in one of my decks right now. Okay, now I've got a bunch of uh, EX Pokemon. The original EX is from uh, Ruby Sapphire. And then Level X Pokemon from Diamond Pearl. Prime Pokemon from Heart Gold and Soul Silver. And then EX Pokemon from Black and White and X and Y. So I got a bunch of those. Mega Charizard. Always cool. More EXs. Okay, here we have the Break Pokemon. And finally GX Pokemon from Sun and Moon. So I got a bunch of those. The Prism Star Pokemon, and then the V Pokemon, so these are like the more current ones from Sword and Shield. Got a bunch of those because I buy so many booster boxes that I just fill my folders with a bunch of uh, EXs that I'm never going to use. I do like these amazing rare cards though, the Rayquaza looks awesome, one of my favorite cards. Some more V Pokemon. Oh yeah, the entire uh, McDonald's collection for the 25 year anniversary. The celebration set, also from the 25 year anniversary. And, oh yeah, the Pikachu also from McDonald's. Uh, this is the Pikachu from the 15 year anniversary collection that I showed a little while ago. Um, Mega Charizard cosplay Pikachu from the 
I think it's Tokyo Pokemon Center. And just another one of that. Some more V Pokemon. And a bunch of Ice Rider Calyrexes for some reason. <laughs> I have a ton of these things. Alright, so yeah, that's just... That's just one of my folders, and uh, I got two more pretty hefty ones over there, but I'm not going to go into them right now. If anybody does want to see them, um, that could be a video for another day. Just let me know in the comments below. And over here, I've got the Pichu Rayquaza corner. Pichu and Rayquaza are my two favorite Pokemon of all time. As you've noticed on my YouTube banner, these are actually my channel mascots. So I've got a couple of different Pichu plushies here, all different sizes. And some Rayquaza ones. Got a regular Rayquaza and a Mega Rayquaza. Okay, and also a fun fact about this guy here. He's super faded compared to the other ones, and that's because he's the oldest one. He's actually the oldest plush I have in this room. He's about 17 years old now, and he's been everywhere with me. And I mean everywhere. <laughs> I've traveled through a bunch of states uh, traveling with this guy to different countries. I actually took him to London with me, so... Yeah, quite literally been all over the country. Uh, below them, all my playmats. These are all the ones that I showcase on my live live battles on the channel, if anybody's noticed. Next to that, I've got a couple more sealed products. This is uh, Japanese cards from the 10th the movie release, the Dark Rai movie. So we have a legendary Pokemon kind of representing every movie. So Mewtwo for the first movie, Lugia for the second movie, Entei, Celebi, and so on and so forth. Some more on the back. All the way up to movie number 10, which is Darkrai. Uh, but for some reason, Darkrai came separate from the rest of them. I don't know why they decided to do it like that, but there it is. And, yeah, never been opened. And over here on this side, a collection from the Poke Park that was opened back in 2005. This is the green collection. There's actually two of these sets. There's a green one and a blue one. I don't have the blue one. I'm still looking for it. But the green one's pretty cool. It comes with nine cards. And the, the picture that all the cards are based on. So here are all the Pokemon that you find inside. And here's a smaller version of the picture right there. So yeah, you can see the Pokemon through the windows there. I love this thing. I really do want to find the blue collection at some point to have the, the set. And finally, my deck boxes. In these boxes I actually have all the decks that I use on the channel. So in this box I have the, the reprints from the World Championship, so starting from 2004 all the way to 2019. So yeah, these are not real cards, these are the reprints like I said. But I do have every single printed one. Um, not sleeved, obviously. The money that would uh, take to sleeve all these is a little too much for me right now, so maybe in the future I'll get around to sleeving them, but not yet. Okay, so that's one box, and then the box next to it is actually all the decks that I make myself. So I have um, cards all the way from the original Wizards of the Coast era, all the way up to, well pretty much the most recent sets all the way over there and actually this box um, got filled up already and I still have more decks so I, I need to find another box like this to start filling that one in too because I have way too many decks between these two boxes that's already over a hundred decks and I still have more that I need to uh, put away but yeah those are the decks that I showcase on the channel so if anybody wants to watch a live battle between any of these, just let me know in the comments below. Alright, and that's my Pokemon collection. Well, um, a big part of the collection anyway, not all of it. I've actually still got way more Pokemon stuff, but this is a pretty good chunk of it. And yeah, so thanks again to everybody for getting us to 200 subscribers. Let's keep the channel growing. And I don't know, if anybody wants to watch another video like this, we'll make another one at the 300 subscriber mark and hopefully it'll be soon actually uh, getting to 200 happened pretty quickly getting to 100 took almost a year and getting to here at 200 only took about three more months so maybe getting to 300 will be even faster so yeah keep spreading the word keep watching the channel keep leaving comments and yeah we'll keep the channel growing all right thanks a lot to everybody thanks a lot for watching and until next time this is the holland phantom logging out